Hello friends, in this video I want to teach you the difference between cytoplasm and cytosol. These are the two common terminologies used in cell biology but many of the students get confused when they are asked to make difference between cytoplasm and cytosol. There is a very common and simple animal cell shown in red color. It consists of cell membrane, Golgi bodies, vacuoles, nucleus, mitochondria and many other organelles which are not shown in this diagram. Coming to the next picture. I draw the same simple animal cell here but in this uh, case I will subtract uh, mitochondria, Golgi bodies, nucleus, vacuoles and I will subtract all the other organelles from the cell. Then the part of the cell left after the subtraction of uh, the mitochondria, Golgi bodies, nucleus, vacuoles and all the other organelles is known as cytoplasm. If I subtract all these organelles including the nucleus from the cell then the part left is known as cytosol. If you want to remember it throughout your life, you have to remember this equation. If I subtract nucleus and organelles from the whole cell, then the part left is known as cytosol. Now coming towards cytoplasm. Uh, I would draw the same simple animal cell here, but I will bring again some changes in it. Uh, this consists of mitochondria, Golgi bodies, vacuoles and all other organelles but in this case these organelles are surrounded by the cell membrane means they are within the cell but in this case I will subtract only the nucleus from the cell. If I subtract nucleus from the cell then the part of the cell left is known as what is known as cytoplasm. If if you want to remember it throughout your life, you have to remember this equation. If I subtract nucleus from the whole cell, then the part left is known as cytoplasm. Thank you for watching this video.